Life has a way of testing our faith, doesn't it? There are moments when the path ahead seems dark, when doubts cloud our minds, and when fear threatens to overwhelm us. But it's precisely in those moments that our trust in God becomes paramount. You see, many of us have a conditional trust in God. We trust Him when things are going well, when the sun is shining and the road is smooth, but when the storms of life roll in, when trials and tribulations come our way, that trust can waver. It's easy to question God's plan, to wonder why He would allow us to suffer. But true trust, genuine trust, is not conditional. It's not based on our circumstances or our understanding. True trust means believing in God's goodness and His sovereignty no matter what. It means holding fast to His promises even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. So today, as we explore the reasons why we should trust in God even when life doesn't make sense, let's remember the importance of unconditional trust. Let's anchor our faith not in our own limited perspective, but in the unchanging character of our Heavenly Father. And before we continue, please help us spread this word to as many people as possible by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. I love you all, and may God bless you abundantly. God is indeed sovereign. We won't always grasp the reasons behind every twist and turn in our lives. Yet, it's precisely in those moments when life seems most perplexing that our faith in God shines brightest. Life's journey isn't a straightforward path. It's filled with unexpected detours, disappointments, and setbacks. But these are not signs of God's absence or indifference, rather. They are opportunities for us to deepen our trust in Him. Conditional trust breeds doubt and discouragement. It leads us to question God's guidance when the road ahead grows dim. But true, trust means surrendering our need for certainty and embracing God's sovereignty, even when His plans seem mysterious to us. In the face of closed doors and dashed hopes, let us view them not as roadblocks, but as tests of our faith. Can we trust God even when His ways defy our understanding? Can we find contentment and joy in Him, regardless of our circumstances? It's easy to grow frustrated when our prayers go unanswered or our plans unravel. But let us release the burden of control and place our trust squarely in God's hands. He sees the bigger picture. He knows what's best for us, even when we cannot comprehend His ways. So, I urge you, trust God unconditionally. Even when life's uncertainties threaten to overwhelm you, stand firm in your faith. Remember that doubt is the tool of the enemy, but trust is the shield of the believer. Let your trust in God be unwavering, for He is faithful to fulfill His promises and lead you to the fulfillment of your destiny. And while I'm not suggesting that trusting God amidst your current struggles is easy or simple, I understand the challenges you face. I know it won't be easy, but my friends, I'm pleading with you. Don't give in to the devil's tricks. Please don't. We serve a sovereign God, the creator of the heavens and earth, and he is still seated on his throne. Hasn't he proven himself faithful to you over and over again? And you know what? He will never give up on you. Just hold on. Just trust him, even in this uncertainty. And if you're in doubt about why you should continue trusting God, I'll share with you five reasons that will convince you to keep your gaze on God and only God. Number one, God always keeps his word. Firstly, let's consider the promises of God. Throughout the Bible, we see countless promises made by God to his people. It's essential to remember that God is not like us humans. He is unchanging and utterly trustworthy. Numbers chapter 23 Verse 19 reminds us, God is not human, that he should lie, 
not a human being, that he should change his mind? Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Indeed, God has never lied, and his track record of keeping promises is flawless. Think about the promises God made to Abraham, promising him descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. Despite Abraham's old age and his wife Sarah's barrenness, God fulfilled his promise and gave them a son, Isaac. Reflect on the promise of deliverance made to the Israelites in Egypt. Despite their oppression and bondage, God rescued them and led them to the promised land. In our own lives, God continues to uphold his promises. Consider the times when you've prayed for healing or even financial blessings. Hasn't God faithfully provided direction even when the path seemed unclear? Reflect on moments when you've cried out for strength and comfort in the midst of trials. Hasn't God been your rock sustaining you through the storm? My brother, my sister, we can trust God in any circumstance we encounter with the assurance found in these three words. God's got this. There is absolutely nothing you can't overcome when you know God got this. You can have victory or even believe in deliverance when you trust God. And not only that, but you can also believe in healing. We can believe that we can overcome in any situation as long as we know God's got this. Let me ask you this, my friends. Is there anything that we could ever go through that God doesn't know about? Or let me rephrase it. Is there any situation we could ever find ourselves in that God is not aware of? The answer is a resounding no. Is there any sickness that God can't heal us of? Again, the answer is a resounding no. Is there any situation that our marriage, family, or finances can find ourselves in that God can't fix? The answer is a resounding no. Is anything too hard for God? No. As believers, as children of God, we know it's going to be okay as long as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. So, when you find yourself looking to the world for help, feeling depressed or overwhelmed, remember, there is nothing too hard for thee. Say it again. God's got this. Secondly, let's reflect on the character of God. Our God is not a distant, uncaring deity. No, He is a loving Father who knows us intimately and cares for us deeply. Yet, one of the questions I often receive is why God allows suffering. It's the valid question. Many, why would such a powerful Father permit His children to endure pain and hardship? Does He sit idly by as evil and darkness consume His children? Is he mean, indifferent, or even enjoy seeing us suffer? Let me address these concerns directly. Firstly, God's sovereignty doesn't mean he orchestrates every aspect of our lives to inflict suffering. Rather, it means he retains ultimate control over all things, including the consequences of our free will and the brokenness of the world. He allows suffering not because he is cruel, but because he respects our autonomy and invites us into a deeper relationship with him through our trials. Secondly, God's love is unfathomable. He doesn't delight in our pain. Instead, he suffers alongside us. In Isaiah 40, 1:10, God assures us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a comforting thought. When we trust in God's character, we can find peace even in the midst of life's storm. You see, my friends, it's easy to live uptight, wondering how it's going to work out. What if the medical report isn't good? What if my finances don't get better? What if my child doesn't get accepted into that school? We've tried to figure it out. We've done our best, but we don't see anything changing. If we're not careful, we'll live worried, discouraged, not expecting it to get better. But my friends, 
God's got this. He's on the throne. He sees what's happening. He already has the solution. You don't have to figure it out. There may not be a logical answer in the natural. You don't see a way. That's okay. We serve a supernatural God. He has ways to do it we've never thought of. Instead of trying to force it to happen, living uptight, you have to let go and let God. When you turn it over to him and say, God, I know you've got this. I know you're in control. Not only will you feel the heaviness, the weight lift off of you, but God will make things happen that you couldn't make happen. So, my friends, even when there seems to be no hope left, continue trusting in God's character. Hold fast to the belief that He is in control and His plans for you are good. When you surrender to His sovereignty, you'll find peace beyond understanding and you'll witness miracles that defy human logic. And reason number three, learn from the example of Jesus. Jesus himself faced incredible trials during his time on earth. From the agony of Gethsemane, where he wrestled with the weight of humanity's sin, to the excruciating pain of the cross, where he bore the full extent of our suffering, Jesus experienced the full range of human anguish. But amidst his trials, Jesus never wavered in his trust in God. He prayed fervently in Gethsemane, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22, verse 42. And even as he hung on the cross, he cried out, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Luke 23. When we look at Jesus' example, we see not only his unwavering trust in God, but also his ultimate victory over the world. In John 16, verse 33, Jesus declares, In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. What a powerful reminder. Despite the trials and tribulations we face in life, we can take heart knowing that Jesus has already conquered the world. Jesus' example teaches us that even in the darkest moments, there is hope. His life, death, and resurrection demonstrate God's power to overcome even the most daunting challenges. When we trust in Jesus' example, we can find strength to persevere through our own trials. So, my friends, when you feel overwhelmed by the trials of life, remember the example of Jesus. Trust in his victory over the world and let his unwavering faith inspire you to persevere. Just as Jesus conquered the world, so too can we, through him who strengthens us. You may find yourself grappling with myriad problems, challenges, and uncertainties. Yet, amid these obstacles, remember this. You have a mighty God who stands ready to help you. His love knows no bounds. His wisdom surpasses understanding. Though the storms may rage and the winds howl, he remains steadfast and unshaken. In Psalm 46, verse 1, we find solace in the words of David. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Take heed. For it is precisely in times of trouble that God's presence shines brightest. He is not a distant observer, but an intimate companion walking alongside you through every trial and tribulation. Trust in his promises, dear friend, for they are as sure as the rising sun. Embrace a posture of peace, knowing that God is orchestrating every detail of your life with meticulous care. Though the road may be fraught with uncertainty, hold fast to this truth. God's got this. He is intricately involved in your affairs, working behind the scenes to bring about His perfect plan. So, let go of fear and apprehension and lean into the unwavering faith that Jesus exemplified. 
Allow his life to serve as a beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkest of nights. With God by your side, you can rest assured that no challenge is too great, no mountain too high. For when we surrender to His divine will, miracles abound, and the impossible becomes possible. Fourthly, let's reflect on the faithfulness of God. Time and time again, throughout history and in our personal lives, God has proven Himself faithful to His people. In Lamentations 3, 23 we find these comforting words. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. What a reassuring truth. Despite the storms that may rage around us, despite the challenges that threaten to overwhelm us, God's faithfulness remains unwavering. His mercies are renewed each morning, a testament to His steadfast love and compassion towards us. Think back to moments in your life when you felt utterly overwhelmed, when you thought you couldn't go on. Yet, in those moments, God was there, faithfully guiding you, sustaining you, and lifting you up. His faithfulness knows no bounds. His love knows no limits. One powerful example of God's unwavering faithfulness is found in the life of Joseph. Joseph, the son of Jacob, faced numerous trials and tribulations, from being sold into slavery by his own brothers to being falsely accused and imprisoned. Joseph's journey was marked by hardship and adversity. Yet, through it all, God remained faithful to him. In Genesis chapters 37 through 50, we see God's hand at work in Joseph's life. Despite the betrayal and injustice he endured, God elevated Joseph from the pit of despair to the pinnacle of power and influence in Egypt. Through dreams and divine providence, God orchestrated events to fulfill his purposes and ultimately save his people from famine. Joseph's story is a testament to God's faithfulness in the midst of adversity. Despite the twists and turns of life, God remained steadfast in his commitment to Joseph, fulfilling his promises and ultimately bringing about redemption and restoration. When we trust in God's faithfulness, we can face each day with confidence, knowing that he is always by our side. No matter what trials may come our way, we can take comfort in the knowledge that God is with us, leading us, and empowering us to overcome. So, my friends, as you journey through life's ups and downs, hold fast to the truth of God's faithfulness. Let it be an anchor for your soul, a source of strength and hope in the midst of uncertainty. For great is His faithfulness, and His mercies are new every morning. Lastly, let's consider the ultimate victory we have in Christ. No matter what challenges we may face in this life, we can take comfort in the promise of eternity with God. In Romans 8 verse 28, we find these words of assurance. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. What a glorious hope! Despite the trials and tribulations of this world, we can trust that God is working all things together for our good. Even in the midst of pain and suffering, He is weaving a beautiful tapestry of redemption and restoration. Think about the challenges you've encountered in your own life. Perhaps you faced illness, loss, or betrayal. In those moments of darkness, it may have been difficult to see God's hand at work. Yet, as we look back, we can often see how God used those trials to shape us, strengthen us, and draw us closer to Him. When we trust in the victory of Christ, we can face the uncertainties of life with courage and confidence. For we know that nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, Romans 8, 
verses 38 and 39. No matter what storms may come our way, we can stand firm on the promise of eternity with God, where there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, and no more tear. So, my friends, as you navigate the challenges of life, hold fast to the hope we have in Christ. Let it be an anchor for your soul, a beacon of light in the midst of darkness. For in Christ, we have ultimate victory, both now and for all eternity. Dear friends, as we conclude our journey through the reasons to trust in God, I want to speak directly to you, wherever you may find yourself today. I understand that life can be overwhelming at times. The trials and tribulations we face can shake us to our core, leaving us feeling lost, alone, and uncertain of what lies ahead. I know that giving your trust back to God can be challenging, especially if you feel He has let you down in the past. The pain of disappointment can linger, casting a shadow over our faith and causing us to doubt God's goodness and faithfulness. But hear me now, dear friend. God sees you. He knows your pain, your struggles, and your doubts and He is not indifferent to your suffering. In fact, He is drawing near to you in this very moment, ready to wrap you in His arms of love and grace. Even when it feels like the darkness is closing in around you, remember this. God's got this. He is not limited by our circumstances or bound by our expectations. His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So, lift up your eyes and fix your gaze upon Him. Trust in His promises, for they are true and sure. Though the road may be long and the journey may be difficult, God will come through for you in a big way. He is faithful to His word, and He will never let you down. As you continue to trust in God, even in the midst of uncertainty and doubt, I believe you will see His faithfulness on full display. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will turn your mourning into dancing and your sorrow into joy. So, take heart, dear friend. Hold fast to your faith and never lose hope. For God is with you and He will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in Him with all your heart and He will guide you through every storm, leading you into the abundant life He has promised. May you find comfort and strength in the knowledge that God's got this. And may His peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Dear friends, before we part ways, I invite you to join me in a moment of prayer. Let us bow our heads and open our hearts to our Heavenly Father. Gracious and loving God, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love that never fails. Thank you for always being there for us for guiding us through the ups and downs of life, and for giving us another day to live and to serve you. Lord, we confess that there are times when our trust wavers, when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm us. But in those moments, help us to remember your promises, to hold fast to your word, and to trust in your unfailing love. Give us the strength to continue trusting in you, even when it seems difficult, even when we cannot see the way ahead. Father, we lift up to you all those who are struggling right now, those who are facing challenges, uncertainties, and doubts. Surround them with your peace, comfort them with your presence, and strengthen them with your grace. Help them to know that you are with them always, guiding them sustaining them, and giving them hope for the future. Lord, as we navigate the difficulties of life, may we always turn to you in prayer, seeking your wisdom, your guidance, and your peace. 
and may our trust in you deepen with each passing day as we experience your faithfulness in new and miraculous ways. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me in this moment of reflection and prayer. May you feel God's presence and peace surrounding you now and always. If you are committed to continuing to trust in God, even in the midst of uncertainty, I invite you to type Amen in the comments below. Let this be a declaration of your faith and a reminder to yourself and others that God is faithful even when life doesn't make sense. Additionally, if you have any prayer requests or if there's something weighing heavy on your heart, I encourage you to share it in the comments. Our community is here to support and uplift one another, and we believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort and healing. Lastly, if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and join our community. Together, we can continue to encourage and inspire one another on this journey of faith. Thank you once again for spending this time with me, and may God bless you abundantly as you continue to trust in Him. Until next time, take care and may His peace be with you always.